Hi, this is Sahana. I'm here with one more program. Today we are going to see how to read and display matrix. I know most of you know what is matrix, but this is for those who wants to know what is matrix. In mathematics, matrix is a set of numbers arranged in rows and columns so as to form a rectangular array. Let's see an example. Here is a matrix and these are the columns and these are the rows and this matrix has five rows and three columns. I have created console application. Now we are going to write a program where we shall ask the user to input the values. Then we are going to display those values to the user in the form of matrix. I'll remove this line. Our first step is to prompt user for number of rows and columns. To print message on the console window, we can make use of console.write or console.write line method. This time I'm going to make use of console.write method and I'll ask the user to enter number of rows. We have to end with semicolon, don't forget it, otherwise we will get compile error. Now user will enter some number. We should store that number somewhere, right, so that we can use that in our program. I'll declare variable, I'll call it as rows. A method that we use to read value from console window is console.readLine method, but that's a problem. Now, instead of where, I'll change it to integer. Now, we will get error. The reason is, this read line method returns string, but we are storing that string in integer variable. Now, we have to fix this. We know that user has entered number, but that is in the form of string. Now, we are going to parse that string to number using int.parse method. This method converts the string representation of a number to 32-bit signed integer equivalent. Same way, we are going to ask the user to enter number of columns. Let's copy these lines. Here, let's change this to columns. And again, variable is going to be calls. Okay. Now, we know the number of rows and columns for the matrix. Our second step is to to actually create the matrix. We can make use of two-dimensional array to create matrix. If you are confused what is two-dimensional array, then two-dimensional array is nothing but it is just like matrix which arranges elements in rows and columns. To create two-dimensional array, first we have to specify data type. Here integer is our data type, then pair of square brackets, now this is single dimensional array. To convert this to two dimensional array, just specify comma inside this pair of square brackets. That's it. Give it some name. I will call it as matrix. Use new keyword. Then specify dimensions using rows and columns that we have received from user. Our third step is to read values into the matrix. Let's go back to our previous example. To access each element in two-dimensional array, we have to specify its row and column index. Here you can see row and column index, they start from zero. Here we have three columns, but the column index would be column zero, column one, and column two. The same applies to rows, row zero, row one, and row two. If you want to access number 10, then it would be matrix 0, 0. Here, 0 row and 0 column. Using for loops, I will read the values into matrix row by row. First row, then I'll fill the values into second row, then third row. I will write for loop. I will be 0 because index starts from 0. Length will be row. I will compare this with number of rows. Then it will be I++. plus plus. This for loop is for rows. We are going to write one more for loop that will be for columns. This time, I'll make it J and I will compare this with calls. This for loop refers to columns. Now we have to ask the user to input the values and we have to store them into matrix. Here I'm asking the user to enter the values. Here 0 and 1, they refer to row and column index here we are storing that value into matrix we have stored all the values into matrix next we are going to display matrix on the console window i will copy these two for loops and i will remove these two lines using console.write method i'll print the matrix on the console window this will print the rows 
to enter next line here i will write console dot write line method let's run this application and see the output we have a message enter the number of rows i will enter two enter the number of columns again i'll enter two now enter the value for zero zero that means first row first column i will enter 10 20 30 40 see here we have a matrix the matrix you enter is ready you can test this program with more number of rows and columns now we know how to read the values into matrix and display that matrix on the console window i hope the session was useful if you have subscribed to my channel thanks for your support if you are not and if you find the content useful do consider subscribing to my channel Thanks for your time. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.